Hey everyone, um, I thought it was about time that I put another little video together. Um, sorry for the uh, the lack of updates over the last few months, but uh, it's been summer here in the UK, so I've uh, been trying to do a few outside jobs and there's not been a lot going on in my home assistant world. But um, I thought I'd just uh, yeah put a little video together because I've managed to fix a problem which has been bugging me for absolutely ages, probably since April or May. Uh, basically there was an update to Home Assistant um, about that time and ever since then what I found was um, my server monitors that monitored uh, the ILO on my micro server that runs uh, my Home Assistant weren't updating. If I restarted um, Home Assistant it would pull the data but then it would just never refresh and it would sit there being stale um, and that was really starting to annoy me. Um, I had logged a ticket um, or you know, submitted a bug um, in the uh, in a Home Assistant GitHub uh, thing. Uh, a couple of other people said they had the same issue, but um, you know, didn't really have a workaround, um, and so I was kind of stuck. But anyway, so yeah, um, I think it was about ten days ago. I actually found a solution to it. Um, I started to think maybe there was some way I could get an automation to force a refresh uh, of the of the data. Um, and it turns out there is actually um, a feature within Home Assistant Core that can do this for you. So it's it's actually really simple. Uh, but here we go. I mean, just uh, to give you an idea, down at the bottom right of my dashboard here is HP server monitors. And I've literally just got a load of sensors that pull um, data from my uh, from the ILO board on my on my server um, if you look at I don't know if we go to developer tools and states um, and do a little search for ILO you can see I've got all of my uh, my ILO bits and pieces in there um, the micro server itself is not great at cooling when you've got a raid card in there which is why I was quite keen to have this working so I always keep half an eye on the inlet temperature and the PCI temperature um, and if you're interested, we can have a quick look at my ILO here, and it's a little bit slow. We can look at temperatures, and it'll bring up a little table and a nice diagram of all the all the temperatures there. But as I say, well, yeah, what was happening was um, on booting up or starting HA or restarting after an update, it would pull all this data through. I could see. In the event log that it was um, it was logging in um, and grabbing the data but then it would never happen again so anyway yeah to the to the uh, to the main part of this video what I found was like I say there's an automation in HA core where you can force a refresh of a sensor um, so if we go to settings automations and I'll just search for my one called ILO so I've got one now called ILO dashboard refresh and literally every 15 minutes, so you can just do a forward slash 15 for every 15 minutes. And there is a service built into Home Assistant Core called Update Entity. And then literally you can just pull your entities in, into that just by, uh, by searching for them. Um, that is literally it. Once I've done that, I'd then find every 15 minutes it will pull the data obviously it'll only refresh when the data changes so although it's pulling the data every 15 minutes if there's no change it um it won't actually show anything you know it won't show a difference but we can see here you know, like six o'clock this morning 6 15 my ilo inlet temperature went from 20 to 21 degrees it stayed there for a couple of hours before going to 22 degrees so it's now actually changing every every 15 minutes uh i so see you got you obviously could uh, reduce the um, the time between updates but I think 15 minutes is actually pretty reasonable um, and in the case of HP ILO what happens it does a reverse DNS lookup with every login so it generates loads of DNS traffic as well which I was hoping to avoid but yeah if we look in my um, my ILO event logs you can now see that every 15 minutes I've got to log in and log out and it does it 11 times for each sensor it logs in and logs out but um yeah i'm just really pleased that it's finally working as uh, as i'd hoped so anyway yeah i say short short video um hopefully you might find this useful um obviously if not with ilo maybe with some other 
uh, sensor that you need to periodically check even if the value isn't changing. But uh, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.